All right, and as I mentioned just a moment ago, we're going to focus on the blood pressure portion of this monitor. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and power the unit off, and I'm going to see if I can find a, a prop here to prop that unit up. This ought to work. I uh, didn't mention it earlier, but one of the other uh, features of the VetSpecs uh, PM100 monitor is that uh, the different modules that are available, I'd shown earlier the multi-parameter main module and the blood pressure module, there are actually several other modules that are available, such as Diagnostic 6 Lead ECG uh, and so forth. Uh, but the two modules that you'll find prevalently with the system as far as surgical monitoring are the blood pressure and main module. Uh, what I was uh, meaning to say is that the uh, monitor, the PM100, will take on the characteristics of whatever module you plug into it. So if I plug in only the blood pressure, as you're going to see now, the uh, PM100 uh, monitor will show only blood pressure on the screen. And that is... Uh, very, very nice for the technician or doctor that is wanting to run a blood pressure uh, uh, workup on a patient, uh, a screening, or, or if they're in, even in surgery, if they only want to run blood pressure, uh, all of the other data, the ECG and pulse ox, is now off the screen, so it makes it very clean. I had mentioned earlier as well um, that VetSpecs provides six different sizes of occlusion cuff. It's really important to make sure that when you choose a cuff, that you provide an, uh, or choose a, a, an occlusion cuff that is uh, proper for the size of the limb that you're going to attach to. So in this case, I've uh, asked my colleague to join me here since we don't have uh, a, a nice cat or dog uh, here in the office. Um, we're just going to hook up uh, to his finger and that'll work just as well. I've chosen a number two cuff. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be a good size, but we're going to confirm that here in just a moment. Uh, one thing that you always want to do when you choose an occlusion cuff as well is always consider the artery uh, message on the cuff. It's always important to make sure that the limb that you're going to be on, that you want to identify where the artery is at in that particular limb. And then when you place the cuff, make sure that the word artery, this has an artery wording and then also an arrow. Some cuffs will even have a little circle with a line through it indicating an over artery message. But it's very important to, to notice that. Uh, the next thing is when you choose the limb, uh, again, try to go with a cuff that would be uh, the proper size, but, but there is a, a, a certainly a way to confirm that. So we're going to go with the number two cuff. Uh, make sure, again, the word artery is over the, ar uh, the word artery is physically over the artery in the limb. Uh, on the human finger, of course, the artery is going to run on the ventral aspect. Uh, that is actually just like that of a cat or a dog's tail. So this will be uh, a really a good example of how you'd hook up a a cat or a dog on their tail, which by the way is, a, is an excellent location for this blood pressure technology. All right, so occlusion cuff. We're then going to uh, have again the word artery on the bottom side of the finger. Wrap the, top, uh, the short side of this cuff around the top of the limb. This is called the index edge. We want to make sure that this index edge falls in between the range on the cuff and it's marked on the inside. And that's how we know. And this uh, is going to be a perfect fit uh, for this uh, index finger here. When you wrap the cuff around, you just want to make sure to wrap it as evenly as possible uh, so that it's not lopsided and whatnot, and that's going to help to ensure good occlusion. And that is the job of the cuff, is to occlude arterial flow. Then we're going to move over to the VetSpecs uh, pulse sensor band. This pulse sensor band, again, very unassuming. When you first look at it, it looks just like a, a, a black Velcro strap. But... Uh, it actually is quite a bit more technical than that. I'm going to undo this Velcro portion uh, of the band, and, and this portion of the band is uh, woven in underneath this fabric is a pressure-sensitive film, and this entire area of the band is pressure-sensitive. Uh, VetSpecs has uh, gone to the efforts of putting the word down so that we place the word down against that same artery, uh, and uh, that will help to ensure that we get a good reading. Or a good signal and so I'm going to go ahead and hook that up again on the same artery ventral aspect of the finger when we put the sensor band on again remember this is counter pressure so we're looking to create counter pressure against the artery pull that band on a snugness level of about a, a an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10 so we want it snug not tourniquet tight but snug so we get a good reading 
wrap that around again nice and evenly. Make sure to wrap the entire Velcro strap as well. That will uh, keep that strap from dangling and causing any extra movement. So again, a patient that we're uh, working on their tail, this would essentially uh, be the cuff right at the base of the tail, proximal to the body. The sensor band would be no more than an inch distal to this cuff. So you don't want to have more than an inch gapping between the two. Then I'm going to take the tubing of the occlusion cuff, attach it here. This is a nice uh, tapered fitting, easy to connect. And then the pulse sensor band will plug right in. This is keyed. It will only go in one way. And here we go. Now what's going to happen is this pulse sensor band electronically is going to pick up an arterial pulse uh, in the finger. And here goes the pulse nice and steady. This is exactly what you hope to see and should see. Uh, we have a ready message already, so basically after an arterial pulse is detected, within just a few beats we'll get a ready message. You'll also be able to verify by the pulse rate number that, that it too is very stable. It's not bouncing around uh, more than a couple of points up or down. That's also very helpful. So we've got a, a picture-perfect scenario here. Great arterial pulse waveform, ready message, and a pulse rate that's nice and stable. Now, if you're in surgery, we can allow this system to run in intervals. It will automatically inflate and deflate the cuff uh, in intervals that are preset, or you can override the intervals and take a manual reading, which is really ideal for uh, an awake patient. The, the override button is basically what we call the SS button, which stands for start and stop. And we're gonna go ahead and employ our first occlusion, hit the start button, the cuff is going to inflate. You're gonna see that that waveform this is again where the sensor band is located on the limb. Complete occlusion, completely flat. There is a pressure gauge here. Millimeters of mercury is how that's measured. And that pressure gauge will show uh, the amount of pressure in the cuff. It will be, begin to deflate the pressure in the cuff and in turn, we'll get our systolic, diastolic, and mean. Uh, and there you go. Uh, very quick readings, usually about 30 seconds from the time that the cuff inflates and deflates. Uh, and here we have our systolic at 148, diastolic at 104, and so forth. We're ready again to take another reading. Um, if you're doing an awake patient, uh, just controlling the patient from external, uh, uh, you know, additional motion is going to help you uh, get readings. And for the sake of getting uh, uh, com comparison readings or reproduction readings, we're going to go ahead and take one more and hit the start stop button. And here we go again, complete occlusion. The, the pump inflates quickly begins to deflate quickly, waveform, nice and stable, and return flow will show up here. There was the return flow, systolic, diastolic, and uh, the readings popped right up in less than a point difference here. And I do want to show or keep in mind we are on a human finger, um, uh, probably not the ideal place to take a reading on a human, but the, the point that I wanted to make is you can see it's nice and stable. We are getting reproduction. Uh, one other thing that I'm thinking of too, if you're doing an awake patient, it is perfectly okay and probably recommended to turn the audible pulse sound off. Uh, a lot of times the fractious cats are not real crazy about that, hearing extra sounds, uh, maybe having again this on the, the rear of the patient, the tail of the patient, and then a technician or doctor at the head of the patient keeping the cat happy. Uh, we, we tend to have found that we get the best results that way. Uh, and again, for the sake of just reproduction, and that's the most important part of this is with any non-invasive blood pressures to be able to reproduce readings. We'll take one more reading and then we're gonna move on to data saving on this monitor, which again is an exceptional uh, area that VetSpecs has, has put a lot of time and effort into. So let's take one more reading and here we go. Complete occlusion, beautiful. Pressure gauge is about 220 millimeters of mercury now. Deflating going downward. Here comes the return systolic and diastolic spike. And there we go. And beautiful. And uh, my colleague's blood pressure readings are getting a little bit lower as he sits here, which is good. We dropped about six points on that last reading. So again, uh, blood pressure. I admit at first I wasn't uh, real excited about the two-part design. Most systems that are out on the market have just the cuff. Uh, but as I've worked with the system more, it is basically a hybrid of taking uh, the most prevalent two technologies. Oscillometric is the uh, most common automated technology, and Doppler is the most common manual non-invasive technology. And what VetSpex has essentially done here is merge those two uh, into one system. So you're getting the attributes uh, in one monitoring system here. Uh, 
And again, we're going to move right on to the data saving feature. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and break down and go into that area of the monitor.